So finally, Legion OS is back. If you're using custom ROMs from some time, Legion OS also it was also one of those custom ROMs which was available, and it was actually one of the most unique custom ROMs previously, based on Android 11 times as far as I know, even based on Android 12. I'm not sure about Android 12, but it was so good previously. But now it's finally back with Android 13, the first initial build, unofficially available for a lot of devices. I found like Redmi Note 10 Pro and Mi 11X, Redmi Note. 11 and some more devices which you can go and try out if you want to let's take a quick look at the default things let's take a quick look at the changes in this custom room or the things which are included by default the launcher as expectedly it's not a pixel launcher by the way as this is unofficial version which i'm using right now it in, in redmi note 11 even redmi note 10 pro also got the unofficial version mi 11x also got the unofficial version so things might be different little bit of here and there but most of the things are actually same you will get the parallel space support which means you can create more apps you can create clones of the apps if you want to moving on to the other options like quick settings panel it is having the dark quick settings panel as it is initial build so i am not recommending i am not actually recommending anyone right now but yes if you just want to give it a try you can but in the terms of stability this might be stable according to your device which device you are using but in the terms of major changes like the features which are not included some features are included included in this one but not major features not major ui changes the card style ui as expectedly is in the settings you can customize it you can't i think so i i actually i was looking for that i would be able to customize that but unfortunately we can't customize it the changes or the features also include some of the display options for example you have the data usage options you have the option to customize the status bar icons which means you can simply enable or disable some icons from the status bar if you want to we have the options related to ignore windows secure flag which is a very interesting option you can simply remove the restriction of that screenshot which you can take in any restricted apps that's quite useful ambient display it's like all of the things which you were expecting are already present here so no major features are missing but features which actually you were looking for in a custom room like legion os are not present here in other options in wallpapers and styles we have the options that you do icon customizations fonts and shape but the major features like the features which you have in rise droid or cr droid even alpha droid some of the custom rooms like that those features are not present here also in the terms of other options in spoofing related things you have the option for unlimited google photo storage we also have the unlock higher fps in games and netflix spoof so basically the features which are not that much useful or which are not that much bad are available there but in the terms of other features like legion os is one of the custom rooms which was actually so good in the terms of customizations previously and this new update they are not bringing you any major customizations as i just mentioned at the starting of the video as it is initial version so there might be some differences there but in the upcoming versions hopefully they will bring you some customizations some changes will be there but for now this is what we have app lock also have the changes for example you can lock the system apps also and as far as i know this app lock is not actually only uh, this app log is actually available for every custom launcher for example if you are if you're bored with the default launcher you can use any other custom launcher also it's totally up to you other options face lock fingerprint everything is already present so in the terms of initial version as it is initial build things are still quite good uh, like other custom homes octavio s with the new update were not bringing you some major changes but in the terms of other options in the terms of in comparison to octavio s this feature is this custom room is actually not that bad gesture navigation also has same features but in the terms of ime space you can't hide that as expectedly but you have the option to disable the full screen gestures or enable the full screen gestures you can customize this thing according to you other options are basically same this is about legion os if you are using custom home some from some time you already got to know that legion os uh, what this custom home is about but if you are not into the custom homes much or if you if this is your first custom home 
I will definitely not recommending you right now while making this video. Maybe with the new update, if they bring you something new, something interesting, you can give it a try. But in the terms of smoothness or in the terms of stability, it all depends upon which device you are using. Because I didn't got any version, I didn't got any device which is having the official version so far. So this is unofficial for many devices. It's totally up to you if you want to give it a try or not. Link is still available in the description for Mi 11X and Redmi Note 11. Give it a try. Goodbye.